Being able to perform an interrupted suture is one of the key skills in surgery. I'm going to show you here how to do interrupted sutures with instrument ties. First of all, make sure you mount your needle correctly. To do this, you need to grasp the needle roughly two thirds of the way along its curvature, as shown here. Make sure you use the tips of the needle holder. Now, first of all, it's important that you pass the suture through the tissues and follow the curvature of the needle. This causes a minimum amount of tissue damage. Note how the wrist rotates through to allow this curvature to be followed. Pull your suture through so there's only a small amount of tail left at the end before performing the instrument tie. Now to do this, you need to bring your instrument from the short end towards the long end, and then wrap it round twice. Now when you pull the short end through the knot, you need to cross your hands over. Looking from the other side, from the short end to the long end, wrap it around once this time, and pull the short end through, again crossing your hands. The direction in which you Cross your hands should reverse each time, and by doing this, you will throw square knots as shown here. Watch how the knot lies down flat as it is being tightened. Now I've thrown quite a few sutures here to demonstrate this principle. Normally a absorbable suture or braided suture would only require three or four throws.